and welcome to the eFresh.com Coffee News. Today is the 19th of November. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. Nicaragua coffee exports down 36%. Colombia's coffee growers see small crop. Chavez tightens control over food sector. Kenya coffee output up 55%. Nicaraguan coffee exports in October, the first month of the new 2009-2010 crop cycles, were down 36% at 34,781 bags, the official Nicaraguan Export Center, Centric, said. Exports in October consisted exclusively of old crop beans from the last harvest, exporters said, while fresh coffee from the new harvest is not expected to reach the market until December. Nicaraguan coffee exports in the 2008-2009 crop cycles ended down 13% compared to the 2007-2008 crop cycle. The current 2009-2010 coffee harvest in Colombia continues at a disappointing pace and in smaller volumes than expected. Coffee producers across Colombia's growing regions said that not only is any significant recovery in production numbers still at least a crop year away, but also that new harvest is also affected by severely the crop pest Broca. Diego Gomez Mora, a producer in Colombia's fifth largest coffee province of South Central Valle de Causa, said they have gone from one extreme of a very severe winter with very heavy rains to the other extreme of very low rainfall. So far, they have harvested about 70% of the 2009-2010 crops and are down 30% on production from last year. President Hugo Chavez's government has nationalized two coffee processors and is planning to purchase a majority stake in a third as it moves to assert greater control over Venezuela's strictly regulated food sector. Presidential decrees published in the official Gazette ordered the takeover of Fama de America and Cafea. Government officials have said they also hope to purchase a majority stake in a third company, Café Madrid, guaranteeing control over more than half of Venezuela's coffee industry. Company executives have not been available to comment on these announcements, and it was not clear whether or not they would be compensated. In addition to nationalizations in the electricity, cement and oil sectors, Chavez's government has nationalized some 2.5 million hectares of land considered to be idle or whose titles were in doubt. Kenya produced 41,936 metric tons of coffee in the first eight months of 2009 up 55.1% on the year. Kenyan coffee is fetching high prices on the international market, due mainly to low output in Colombia. Coffee output for the crop year 2008-2009 was 55,000 tons, compared with 42,000 tons in the previous season. Production in the 2009-2010 is estimated around 54,000 metric tons, mainly due to drought. Coffee production in Kenya has been in decline these last years, mainly due to corruption and mismanagement of small-scale farmers' cooperatives, which produces about 65%. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com Coffee News. See you next time.